Hi, this is the Yakima Exo Multi Sport uh, Hitch Mount. It can handle boxes, you can add bike racks, ski racks. It's pretty cool. I want to show you about it. It's a kind of a multi sport uh, attachment for uh, any vehicle with a hitch. This one's mounted, I got this on the van, mounted here. And I could have gotten a, a different carrier, carriers that mount on the bolts, but they can be expensive. So I decided to give this a try. I mean, this wasn't cheap. This was uh, with all the sports and everything. It was $2,300 or so. But it's built really well. So first of all, it's mounted and bolted to the hitch receiver. And there, there's these two bolts and it's even threaded right there so it'll hold 100 pounds of bikes 100 pounds of gear it has a second level that you can put another rack and so for our second level we got ski rack and a bike rack but you can also pop the box off for this and then conveniently you see it swings it swings open and I wanted a box to store all the outdoor gear so it's got plenty of storage has some tie down straps but I essentially put the rug the the full fire pit and all the chairs in here and right now we're kind of using it as overnight storage with all the toys um, but it gives you just so much more storage uh, when you need it And I can just lock it. This is black. And the only reflective thing is the Yakima. And so I'm worried that people aren't going to back into my box and damage it or not see it. This one right here. A little complaint so I'll definitely update how they hold up uh, but right. box have been good for camping and I'm gonna install the the ski rack so I got them both on I got the barrels removed I got this lock okay what I'm not showing is how hard it was to get this this barrel in and same with this one i had to actually watch a youtube video i had to watch somebody else's video figure it out and you see the little circle way in there um that matches this like plug of the barrel and it has to be moved over and that is nowhere in the instructions that snowboard two kid skis and my skis, they are on there. All right, time to de-ski the Revel. Well, everything's a little dirty from the snow. I'm gonna de-ski it, see how quickly I can get, uh, put my bike rack on it. I think it's gonna be quick.
Now for the box. See, it has this, it's kind of the holder uh, for the front. Front tire goes there, back tire goes here, and it clips on with this strap. So you're like, Camilo, that's a heavy e-bike. Well, I don't have the battery in it, so it's probably about um, 70 pounds, 60 pounds. Um, so I'm going to put this on the back here. and. Uh, go on my ride. on. Obviously I'm over the weight, so the, both bikes are supposed to have a capacity of 50 pounds. That's on. I'm sure someone at Yakima is rolling in their eyes. But I think this will do for some short trips. So obviously I wanted that the XO to be able to have multiple things. The box, super clutch for keeping all those outdoor items. Skis, perfect for ski season. And the bike rack, obviously it wants lighter bikes than my super cool Suron, but um, it works really well and it's quick to change out. I'm definitely going to put it on my other cars too and use the, use the hell out of it. I highly recommend getting an XO, perfect for the van. It's not unitasker, so you can use it with other vehicles and uh, it works really well. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.